So how many of you have actually started your day? And when we're looking how we're actually going to make this happen, this is what happens. All right, the alarm clock goes off. You hit the alarm clock. You hit the floor. And there's this thought that goes through your head that says, oh my god, only 18 more hours before I get to be back here again. But you haven't actually got up and done anything yet. And for, you know, so you get up, you start your day, and here, here's the first issue that happens. Now, this doesn't happen for guys, and I'm going to, well, maybe it does, and I don't want to know about it. That's not appropriate in this room. But, you know, you find out that the bra that you want to wear is still in the laundry. I was like, oh, alrighty then. Well, I can wear the one that I'm not really comfortable in, and that's going to be okay. But that's, you know, good to start a little bit of a day off. And so already I'm starting to think this is not going to be great. This is not going to be a great day. It's not going well so far. But that's okay. I'm on it. I got it. I can get it covered. So you, then you start moving your day forward. And as you're out there and you're getting breakfast, and you're getting ready for the kids. And what have you, I know some of us have done this. We're going to pour something. We move. And whatever was on the counter just went across the room for you. And yeah, sure, there's a part of your brain that says do not cry over spilt milk. It is not worth it. But honest to God, the S word does come to mind, and in my word, it's usually the F word, but I'm not going to use that on stage.